from a craft with its roots in the past to something that is really new. So new, it still seems to have a touch of magic about it. One talks about the wonders of modern science, but seldom thinks of the simple things scientists are doing. In this demonstration of practical chemistry, for example, we introduce Charles Benet, a Hungarian chemical research worker who has invented a method of dyeing fabrics only without the dyes. Quite simply, the process involves a straightforward chemical reaction. All you need to know is what reaction and what chemicals to use. Well, without getting complicated, it's done in three stages. In the first beaker, the silk has undergone a change of chemical constitution, making it sensitive to light, like a photographic plate. In the second, a negative is prepared from the photosensitized silk, and in the third beaker, the colors are developed, just as we said, like magic. By the same principle, almost any shades and colors can be produced. You'll notice too that the colors are completely fast, which is because it is the material itself that has been transformed. This is aptly illustrated here by subjecting a piece of chemically treated material to the effect of light, which deprives it of its color producing power. Remember, at this stage, the silk is sensitive to light, like a photographic plate or film. And by placing a doily over part of it, you'll notice it's possible to obtain a reasonable pattern. After a lapse of approximately 10 minutes, the exposure to light is discontinued and the photographic type process completed by immersing the material in another chemical solution which acts as a developing agent. The idea is quite practical too, the process increasing the strength and elasticity of the material, a triumph of chemists' ingenuity and foresight.